Hi guys! Hello! Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Sylvia and Corey Bichanda. That's us! Guys, today is the grand reveal of our guest room. We are recording this at night, <laughs> but Corey has a busy schedule this week, so we're trying to squeeze it in. Um, so we're going to do it at night with you guys. Crazy. Yeah, let's hope the hammering doesn't bother any of our neighbors. I'm very sure downstairs there's no one. Probably next door there's no one also. Yeah, so I there's think actually not a lot of people that yeah. live around our house. That's true. Yeah. So guys, let's get into it. Um, a lot of you were really worried that I would overdo it. I shouldn't add a lot and I appreciate that feedback and jack is here yes you yes. let me know in the comment section if you feel like i put too much things up or if it was not enough um we're gonna do it the way that we think it looks good and then we'll see what you guys have to say about it so let's get into it we just have a few baskets to hang up and a bedside shelf and a few things here and there to assemble so yeah are you ready to do it jack of all trades i'm ever ready okay yes. let's get into it I love you, I give you everything you want me to Think about it, if I could Up and down the moon and give that to oh, oh. So guys, here's Corey's first project I ordered this off of an Instagram shop called The Macrame Home. So this is going to be, I just wanted a small bedside table um, to, just, to just like put your phone on basically. So because also if you look at the space we're dealing with here, Corey, can you open the door oh. and show them? Like if you open the closet door, the space is so small. So we just wanted to fit something in just to um you know place your phone on when you're sleeping so we're gonna hang it somewhere right there yeah i think that looks good good to do do you think you'll have to drill a hole or can we just nail it i'm gonna try to nail it first and guys you can see i have two pieces but I don't know, honey, what do you think? This place back here is too small for one, right? Well, back on the other side. Yeah, it's too small. I think I'll use this one in our master bedroom because um, we're planning to move out one of the tables and move the bed back. So Corey won't have a night table anymore. So we'll have to get him one. So he'll be using this one. There can't be no light If darkness don't exist He never left my side He showed me the way Out of all the storms Raging at the sea So guys, here's our little shelf. I just wanted something big enough for a phone and this board is a little bit dusty um has a double hook so it doesn't you know it's a little bit more stable and then i'm just going to put this small plant here in the corner just so it's not empty and then they can just lay their phone here and i'll probably put an extension cord with double tape on the side of the bed so they can plug their accessories in. I owe him everything. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice in the... I have a few baskets and I know a lot of you said we shouldn't put them on this wall, but I feel like up there in that corner, it needs something. Maybe just these. The big one with the small one. Um, kind of staggered both of them. You don't use on the wall? Both of them. Together like this? No, beside each other. The, but, on or? I'm not sure. I'm trying to look at it. I have not seen it yet. Um, 
probably not that far up in the corner yeah bring the other the other bar the big one goes up and the other small one comes down a little bit yeah something like that how do you see it or should we leave this wall empty because of the circle i'm not liking how they look now that they're up is it enough with the circle on this wall we just leave it yeah we should leave it Cindy. i'm not liking that look and i don't think it will look better in this corner also i think this wall is just okay i don't like them there so guys before we continue putting baskets on this wall we are gonna assemble this plant um it's obvious a fake a fake plant those are the only ones i can keep alive so Corey is going to assemble the tree right now rejoice, rejoice in the name of the lord forever and always i rejoice 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 in the name of the lord always he carried me to shore held me through the pain he loved me at my worst i thank him every day i will put him first cause he did that for me he sacrificed himself so i could find my peace rejoice 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 in the name of the lord forever and always i rejoice 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 in the name of the lord always showed us the way Each other, we're growing. Together. 
guys thank you so much for watching today's video of the guest room remodel I really hope you guys enjoyed the grand reveal with everything put together um, I did try to not put too many things and I know the chair is a little bit crowded but I wanted a place to be able to either sit or place like your luggage there while you unpack um, because usually people place their luggages under the bed once they're unpacked. So I just needed a chair. <laughs> and I know it's not great in that space. Um, it's a little tighter than I would like, but um, it is comfortable. You can sit there and your legs are not touching the bed. So anyway, other than that, I think I do love how everything came out. And yeah, I just want to thank you guys for always coming back and watching our videos and it means the world to us, it really does. And we love bringing these videos to you. And I'm really excited because the end of this month, the beginning of next month, I will be doing our master bedroom remodel and I'll be having a bedside nursery. So I have a tiny little corner that's dedicated to our son um, and I'm gonna try to make it special. Even though I don't have a nursery, I wanted to save the guest room for that. Plus I wanted our baby to be sleeping in our bed, not in our bed, but in our bedroom. Um, so I got um, a crib to put like up beside the bed. I can't wait to put that together for you guys. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos coming up. I can't wait to have our master bedroom and bathroom done. And then I'm done with the whole house. No more <laughs> renovations. And we'll just be preparing for baby to come and probably trying to buy things for the baby and stuff. So thank you so much for all your love and support. And for you guys that have not yet gone to our Amazon registry and you're interested in buying a gift for our baby, that is your best option. Um, we have selected, um, I think around 50 items. And a lot of you have already gone there and bought items for us and we're so excited about that. Thank you so much. They're all being shipped to my parents, which will plan to bring them over with them. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for everyone who has reached out and wanted to either send a gift or wanted to donate to help us. And it just really means a lot. We, we depend a lot on our YouTube community to watch our videos for income. But when people come up and 
want to donate and want to buy things for our son. It's really just so unexpected to us and we really appreciate it for each one of you who has done that. So thank you guys so much and we will see you guys on our next video. Bye guys. One thing's true. I never asked for none.